Let's start off with an overview of the kind of activity we're seeing on the Zambian markets right now. Okay. Um, we just have we've had a couple of results uh, in the week, uh, namely from Zambif and Zambia Sugar. Uh, both results were better than the previous year. Um, Zambif, uh, when you look at their top line earnings, uh, grew by about 28 percent, while their bottom line grew by 112 percent. And uh, you will take uh, cognizance of the fact that Zambif are uh, currently uh, making an acquisition for a farm worth uh, $47 million as part of their expansion program. And what does uh, that acquisition bring into their stable? Okay, uh, this acquisition is uh, by and large to secure uh, supply of wheat and soya for uh, wheat uh, for their um, bakery division. And then when you look at the soya for their uh, Zamanita division, which uh, produces uh, uh, edible oil. So we're seeing a diversification strategy then uh, to an extent coming into play, right? Yes, it's an increased diversification, yes. Would you be buying into Zambif right now? Very much so, I would, yes. Taking a look uh, at the at price, I mean, what kind of upside potential are we looking at? Um, well, we haven't uh, uh, imprinted a, um, a target price uh, in terms of uh, based on their the earnings results. The results only came out yesterday. So okay, well, well, market's still digesting that bit of news. Let's take a look at Zambia Sugar because, of course, uh, this an interesting company at a time where we've had parent company Elovo Sugar here in South Africa recording a disappointing performance uh, blamed on the bad weather conditions and currency movements. So what's your view on a player like Zambia Sugar at this stage? Yeah, um... Apparently, Zambia Sugar results, they also do indicate that the uh, weather results and exchange rate movement wasn't uh, good to them to some extent, though their results are better than last year. Uh, they produced uh, about 385,000 tons of sugar. Uh, last year, they only produced about 315,000 tons, with uh, 233,000 tons uh, going to the export market. Mm -hmm. Taking a look at so, Zambia Sugar, we've got, I mean, those uh, production uh, levels uh, expected to rise, especially where you've got the price of sugar on the uptick. What's your outlook on that front in terms of prices? Because we've heard news that uh, Brazil is seeing a deficit in supply from its side. Yes, definitely. Zambia Sugar, in fact, when you look at the outlook for the year, they do say that uh, uh, the prospects look good because of the souring sugar prices uh, on account of uh, deficit in uh, sugar that's being produced globally so they look at the, they're giving an upside in terms of uh, uh, production going this year provided the exchange rate movement stabilizes and uh, uh, weather doesn't uh, go against them let's uh, run through Mapenzi your outlook for the trading week uh, next week um, just in terms of activity trading. and the kind of activity we're seeing from the investment community Okay. Um, yeah. Outlook. I. I would. Uh, uh, you have to look at uh, Zambif. Uh, they have a rights issue that's in place. The offer is open. So I know there'll be some a lot of trading there uh, because uh, investors would like to buy in the growth strategies for Zamb for Zambif. Okay. Then we have another bank that's also doing a, a capital raise called uh, Invest Trust Bank. They're trying to raise about 31 billion kwacha uh, to aid them in their expansion program. 